I'm going to show you how to fix stutter and FPS drops here in Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3. In the first place, guys, we're going to take a look at the Fix FPS Drops 2023 pack in which we have some of the best tweaks for our PC and, of course, also here this clean PC bad file which I created myself, guys. You can, by the way, get the link to this pack on my official website, so therefore check it out. Basically, in here now, we have comments that delete any sort of temporary data on our whole entire PC which could somehow slow it down or cause potential stutter in games. And all you guys just simply got to do is double-click onto it and then you can see all the temporary data already deleted successfully from our PC. Then in addition, we have some of the best tweaks in here, guys, which you should definitely apply. Something like disable unwanted applications, automatic maintenance service should be disabled, advertising and sponsored applications should be disabled as well, and recent search history. Once you're done with all of these, restart your PC real quick. Open up your display driver software, which for me is NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Go under drivers, then check for the newest GeForce Experience ready driver. For me, you can see there's a brand new version, 535.98. Click under download and then wait for it to get installed on your PC. Once you're done and restarted your PC, click under settings and make sure to try out to actually disable your in-game overlay. You can do the same thing by the way in AMD as well because for some people this actually will cause stutter. Then in this next step now guys we're going to take a look at the anti-cheat of Fortnite and what we want to do is basically go in our local disk C, open it up, then go under program files and search for Epic Games, click under Fortnite and there you should see now Fortnite game. Then we're gonna go under binaries and then Windows 64 and in here now guys we have a bunch of folders. The first thing which we actually want to do is go over to BattleEye because once we're in here guys now we have uninstall and install of battle eye first of all we're going to click under uninstall and you can see now would you like to uninstall battle eye service from your system i'm going to click under yes and press yes now the service has been successfully uninstalled from my pc and what we want to do now is click here again under install now the service has been successfully reinstalled on my PC and we can move on since we're already good to go until we can see now easy anti-cheat camo. Open it up in the first place and there we have now the easy anti-cheat setup exit. Select our current game 217 and click under repair service. This is going to make sure now that our anti-cheat is up to date and there's no issues whatsoever which could somehow cause our game to crash. Then we can close this and restart our PC. The next up go into your window search bar and type in the presenter 10 presenter. Click under local on the top, press F on your keyboard for Fortnite game, continue with saved config, Windows client, and there you have your current game user settings. Make sure to actually move them out onto your desktop. And once we now actually launch Fortnite again, we will create a brand new version. So guys, and as you can see, once we now launch Fortnite, actually we have a brand new fresh game config. So therefore what this means is that we go actually here now into our settings and we have to again apply all of the best ones. Yeah guys, you can just simply copy here all of my steps guys. Make sure to enable the performance mode. And then of course also scroll down and here on the graphics core team, make again sure that you select the lowest one possible guys. Put everything really on off. The only thing which you of course want to keep up is your 3D res, but besides that, everything on the lowest possible. If you're right now on NVIDIA GPU or Intel integrated graphics, definitely make sure to utilize the performance mode, guys. And if you are on the AMD one, make sure to utilize DirectX 12. You can, by the way, get my complete game config on my official website, guys. It's from the video of my latest comp settings guide.